Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. Welcome to episode 32 of an overhaul on a Bullock Rex. So, in using my jeweler's magnifying glasses, I found more rust and some on some smaller particles. Some of it's fairly deep, and uh, I've got to uh, continue scraping around with a diamond file here to see how deep in it is. In doing so. I'll find out uh, if I need to re-chrome this piece. And if I need to re-chrome this piece, it means I have to clean off this chrome here and uh, powder coat it is what I'll have to do. Okay? Hopefully, it won't uh, require me to do that at this time And because uh, I'd like to use this camera as quickly as possible. But uh, we'll see how that goes. If you're in this position, make sure that when you're cleaning off the rust with a diamond file in here like so, <clears throat> on the leaf springs and not to touch them and push them in. You don't want to get those bent here in the film path. Okay, moving on. Okay, next, I'm going to take this piece and the leaf springs here, and I've got some acetone in here just to finish it off. Uh, when I left the last part of the video, what I did was I put some weapons oil right here on it so it wouldn't rust in the meantime and as you can see there's no rust okay and this tells you just how much uh weapons oil which is a prevents rust really helps out on these type of machines cameras stuff like that as well so it's good to always use it on them all right Again, I've got some acetone here. This is a good way to finish off your metal pieces after you clean them. Drop it in there, let that sit for a little while. Move that around. All right, so after that, what I've got to do is these screws on this plate. There you are, one, two, three, and four. What I've got to do is remove those, okay? And take some yet again metal polish down here okay and go through with the metal polish I can liquefy the metal polish the metal polish a bit and get off any particular rust okay moving on to that okay for those of you new to my channel I just want you to see how this is done what I've done with the screws down in here after I've applied some metal polish and removed the rust I dropped it right into the acetone down in here because this is an on the cheap way to remove not only the rest of the metal polish but any but finish off your metal again right here if you don't have one of those big expensive machines to clean your parts all right the same thing here I'm gonna you have with those you have these tiny washers they're difficult to hold so I hold them with a toothpick and I use a uh, pipe cleaner and the metal polish and remove that rust because the metal polish will only average remove a lot of light rust okay after I do that I'll take this part drop it into the acetone remove these parts when they're clean and put some weapons oil on there so they won't rust okay these miniature screws right here I do want to show you a little tip on how to clean them Take yourself a pipe cleaner, bend it just like this, and you want to put the threads right inside the pipe cleaner, the bent part. Just like that. Press it down, take your screwdriver, put it in there, and move it around. That way. Get all the residue cleaned out. All right. Open that up. There we go. 
right. And now just apply it to here. So you won't lose them. Okay, and as you can see the difference in the cleaning, yes, and on there. Moving on. Okay, I'm getting ready to apply these plates, leaf springs, and it requires screws. I remove the rust from the screws. So on the turret here, what I've done is I went inside there in these places where the screws go, one, two, and in the transport prism holding area, three, four. Right? Now I'm taking some anti-seize here on a toothpick and I put there for rust and corrosion. If you're doing this yourself, do be careful up in here, in this area, up on that pencil eraser. Because of course your transport prism is gonna go in there. It's gonna be snug to begin with. In addition, you have two more prisms. You see that at the end of my pencil eraser right there? See them? Right down there. Okay? And they're very thin. So you don't want to get anything on that. All right? So I'm going to start putting this together. Okay, next I have this plate. And as you see, I've added a sealant to your under part of it. All right? So we're going to flip this over, and add it straight onto the turret. Line those screw holes up. And there we go. All right. Next, the leaf springs, and I've applied some of the sealant on the back. Line those up, and I'm going to go ahead and apply the screws off camera. Next, this plate. Make sure it's clean of rust on the front, on the back, and then where the screw threads go in there. These screws here on the leaf springs are loose, so this can move around for right now and some sealant has been applied. Turn this around, make sure the ramp right here is on this side. And you wanna open those leaf springs up just a touch. Ever so gently and get this poured in there. Okay, so once you've got that done, line up the screw holes. Not too difficult. Line those up, and we're going to flip this around. Careful not to let this fall out. You can hold it with your fingers or not. We're going to start applying the screws. Okay? So I'll go ahead and get these started. Okay, so I'll show you what it's like to put the screws in especially through the back of the uh, inside of the holder of the transport prism housing. Screw, transport prism housing, and they screw in this way. Just so you know, remember again, not too tight. And I've got some, again, anti-seize in there. <clears throat> remember not to put too much in this area. Again, as to those prisms, got stuff to squirt down in there and get in your prisms, and those two prisms are thin and they're sandwiched together. Okay. okay, next here, I just center this up right here, but it's really centered up anyway. Usually, it's going to be even right along the silver part of the leaf springs with the turret right there. 
but the everything's going to be lined up due to the screws right there that's pretty much the alignment and uh, you're generally good right there all right if you have any image issues you can go back and adjust it but generally you're fine with that okay i've added a little too much anti-seize and i got to clean up this area with some alcohol but other than that i take my screwdriver and i tighten the leaf spring screw just a touch there good and on both sides and pretty much we're done and so there we go spin the shutter around and that's what we've got a nice smooth action front or back in front rather do contact me at the social media outlets listed on the screen and remember do subscribe until next time see ya